Oh, hey, we have Leaf on the island today. That's pretty cool. A brilliant fellow named Blathers has joined us on Chillin'. I do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious Chillin' living. The more that they use the word Chillin' in sentences, the more I'm very happy that I chose that as the island name. Well, welcome back to the Southern Hemisphere, everybody. It's uh, It's been a few days since we've been on this island, but we finally have our upgraded house, and uh, now we have two new friends we have to talk to today. But first, let me check the mail. We have our first rating from the Happy Home Academy. Oh, never mind. I forgot. They don't give you a rating the first time around. They just tell you who they are and what they're doing. Okay. All right. Right, and here we are in our brand new home here in the Southern Hemisphere. You know what? We can actually put the fireworks show all up now. I mean, there's not going to be like a theme for this at the moment, and I don't have any more windows, but that's okay. I'd rather put it up than put it in storage. Oh man, I only have room for 80 things in my storage. I'm going to really have to uh, tone down the hoarding for a while. <laughs> I forgot that Blather's tent looks like this originally. Ah, oh, it's actually really awesome. I'm determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. Okay, so he just talked about the fact that there are fossils that you can get across the river on the island. Uh, and I think this is where he gives us the DIY for the vaulting pole. Uh, yep, there it is. Now, interestingly enough, someone mentioned in the previous video that I could have simply purchased a wetsuit and then gone into the ocean and then gone onto the other side of the island that way, which is actually quite clever. I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh, and he also sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig the fossils up with. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit 15 more to be precise. Let me go ahead and give him what I currently have. Can I donate all of this stuff at once? Like when you have the actual museum open? Nope, I have to donate it one at a time again. Let me tell you, the beginning beginning of this game, they really want you to read as much as possible. <laughs> okay, so I donated three new things, so I need to donate 12 different things. Let's talk to Leaf here. I mean, I know that the only thing I can do is just buy, like, bushes and stuff like that, but still. I bet you were up to your ear holes and weeds when you first arrived. Uh, I am still up to my ear holes and weeds. <laughs> He's selling the happiest shrub I know, the camellia. Never heard of that before. Now that I think about it, Leaf wasn't around in the Northern Hemisphere when spring started, so that's probably why I never remember this one. Leaf will be around. I don't really think there's any need for me to buy bushes at the start right now. Um, right now, I need to focus on primarily kind of like getting everything good to go. So like the shops and the museum and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and here and uh, and start selling stuff for money then to clear our inventory. So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. There you go. Speaking of shops, they're talking about it right now. I have something I would like to chat about if you have a moment that is. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. Our little island community is growing and our needs are growing too. We'll need 30 pieces each of regular wood, hardwood, and softwood and 30 iron nuggets. That is a lot of materials, especially considering how scarce all that stuff is in the early game. I completely forgot how much work it took to get the shop set up the first time. Well, let me go back to my house and get all that stuff out of my inventory. That way I can kind of see just how far along we are with everything. Okay, so wood-wise, it's all basically pretty much done. Uh, it's not going to be very difficult to get all this stuff from just my main island. But in regards to getting the 30 iron nuggets, man, I'm going to need a lot of luck. All right, we got our vaulting pole, we got our shovel. Let's uh, let's get to work. All right, well, first things first, let's go ahead and start getting all the wood here from around the, I guess, main section of our island. And you know what? I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made in the last video. I'm gonna make sure that I don't have to run away from wasps. <laughs> Although, now that I think about it, someone did remind me in the last video that if you do get stung, just talk to uh, one of your villagers. I think it's just whichever one isn't the jock villager. And, oh wow, okay, well, there you go. There goes my flimsy ax. And uh, if you get stung by wasps, they'll give you the recipe for the uh, for medicine. It, it's all this stuff in the beginning of the game that I completely forgot about, like how to get specific DIYs and stuff like that. Oh, here they are. All right, go ahead, do your worst. Okay, and I saw Flo somewhere over here, and there she is. Okay, cool. So hopefully she'll give me the recipe for the uh, for the medicine now. Or I caught her at a really bad time because she doesn't want to stop fishing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> she turns around and I'm just like, I just look like a mess. If I had medicine with me, I'd give it to you. But tell you what, I'll show you how to make medicine. And there you go, that's how you get the recipe for medicine. Otherwise, I'm not so concerned about it. We're just gonna keep on keeping on. Oh, hey, what's up, Snake? I heard you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. Found something that might help things along. Here you go. Oh, he's just giving me iron nuggets. Okay, I was gonna make those into free weights, but having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weights. Go team chillin'. I like how you think, Snake. 
All right, and that'll do it for the wood part. Now I just need uh, 25 more pieces of iron nuggets. So let's uh, pull out the vaulting pole and head across the river here. Here we go. Oh, got some fossils here we can give to Blathers. I think this counts towards the uh, the 12 new things that he needs. Oh my god, I forgot to build a ladder. Oh, uh, womp womp. And there's also a balloon overhead, and I don't have a slingshot either, so I am just not prepared whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, so I am not getting very lucky with my, uh, my rock resources right now. I only have still six iron nuggets, so yikes. Um, we're finally seeing the woes of the starting inventory. I'm running out of room. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and donate, I guess, the fossils to Blathers. We can donate the wood to Timmy already and uh, keep it going from there. 18 more to go for the iron nuggets. Right now, you have some softwood, wood, and hardwood. You want to donate 30 of each? Let's do it. Let me offer you a white delicate blooms wall, a camo skirt, and a picnic basket. You can keep the camo skirt. I really am not going to need the camo skirt. Actually, instead of taking it back, I'm just going to sell it back to you. Do I even have the ladder recipe? No, I don't. When do we get the ladder recipe? Well, I guess we got no choice right now than to uh, then to go to a mystery island and see if we can't uh, get any more resources there. Where's my airport again? <laughs> I'm so used to my airport being on the left-hand side of my resident services center. Here we go, right in front. Okay, uh, it's that yellow airport again. Uh, it's our first time meeting Orville. Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Chillin' Airport. Who wouldn't want to go to an island with an airport named Chillin' Airport? First time getting your pontoons wet on tour? Let me brief you on Mystery Island Procedure. That's okay, Wilbur. I already know it, but you're going to go through it anyway. All right. Well, wait a minute. We can run into other villagers already? Who are you? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Gabby. Wait, I can ask them to move in already? How does that work? Well, I don't want Gabby. Let me skip this and go to another mystery island after this because I have the Nook Miles for it and see if it's the same. Okay, well, we only need four more. I really wish I could get up to that other rock right here. It's kind of unfortunate that it's up on that ledge and I can't make a ladder just yet. I... I honestly don't remember what I have to do to, to make a ladder, so yeah. Like, looking at the yellow plane, I like the yellow plane, but I just hate the yellow airport. Alright, let's go ahead and just buy another Nook Miles ticket. And, oh, I'm so close to buying the tool ring as well. Eh, oh well. I ran to the left side again. It's over here. It's right here to the right. Okay, so do we get to see another villager here, or what's going on? Yeah, we do! Wait, which penguin is that? Oh, it's Aurora. Okay. So... I'm, like, completely forgetting how this works. Like, do I get to invite them now? Or I, I'm not sure, because I don't have any open plots. That's the creepiest look I've ever seen in my whole life. Well, whether or not I can, I'm not going to invite Aurora to my island just because I don't really want Aurora on the island. I'm curious how that works now. Just one more. There it is. All right, cool. That'll be 30 and 31. Oh my god, I forgot about the wasps again. Oh my god, how did I forget? Wilbur, start the plane! We gotta get out of here! <laughs> Alright, well we got all the stuff that we need to open up the shop, or at least get it started to be built, so let's bring everything over to Timmy. Whoops. Right now we're asking residents for their help in donating the materials. Really? Because it kind of feels like you're only asking me. We only need 30 iron nuggets, here you go. Because you helped gather what we need to start construction on the shop, we want you to have the honor. What is this honor, you ask? We'd like you, a key figure in making this happen to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. It just sounds like more work. I like how they like, they disguise work as being something like that you really want to do. Like this is, this is an honor. This is something you want to do. Instead of paying you, we'll just make you do more work. <laughs> Is this a good spot? Well, I mean, it's good for now because we'll just move it later on. All right, well, that was a pretty productive morning as always. Got the shop built and ready to go. Now we just need to get a few more things for Blathers to get the museum up and running. And maybe I can do that later on today. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here in the Southern Hemisphere. Hope you guys had fun. And until next time, have a great day.